Hi everyone, Chef Leroy here and uh, well, welcome to my cozy kitchen. Day 12, back recovery. Um, you know, honestly, I'm doing pretty well. I do have some uh, little issues um, today, actually yesterday as well. I did a lot of walking this weekend. Um, I probably walked about um, through uh, Saturday, Sunday, probably at least five miles. Um, but you know, it was stretched out throughout the day. So that's quite a bit. So today, honestly, my calves are a little beat up. Um, otherwise I'm doing pretty good. I got that little twingy thing still kind of going on with my sciatic stuff. Um, but, uh, I got my cup of coffee here and I'm working on a project. I'm actually making borscht today. Okay. I got all my stuff laid out here. I got my, um, Multi cooker here, Wolf multi cooker. I've got my um, little Chardor uh, food processor, Shreds. shredded carrot, beets, and now I've got a little sauerkraut in here too. I always put some sauerkraut in ours. And then I also pressure cooked yesterday, I pressure cooked my meat. So this is two pounds of stew meat. And in this here, I've got uh, two tablespoons of garlic, one teaspoon of thyme, four bay leaves, and I've got a small uh, yellow onion diced and um, uh, three ribs of celery uh, that I diced in here as well, about, about a cup roughly of celery. But I saute it first in the pressure cooker with a tablespoon of olive oil, and then I cook it for 20 minutes after that, um, after I saute it. So brown up the meat a little bit, throw the cover on, saute it, and then pressure cook it for 20 minutes. And here, this one is a small head of green cabbage, and uh, again, in this one here, I've got four small beets that we got from the farmer's market. Uh, I've got two juicer carrots that are shredded. They're basically in the bottom there. And then um, I have one pound of sauerkraut. And what I usually do, we squeeze it out really well and I actually rinse it a little bit too. But we, we like that little bit of sour taste to the borscht. That's what you get out of there. Um, just to give you a couple other ingredients that go into it, which I'm going to put all this in the, uh, my multi-cooker in a minute. I've got some beef stock and some beef broth that I'm gonna use in a combination. Got a little bulgur wheat that helps to thicken it a little bit. We're gonna put some of that in there. I got some lean perrin, uh, Worcester. Uh, I've got a little bit of red wine vinegar. I know I've got that sauerkraut, so we don't need too much of that. And I got a small can of tomato sauce. And then I've got my uh, pepper mill. So we're gonna do some cracks of pepper. Also, I've got two medium to large russet potatoes. I just peeled them. I'm going to run those through my Chardor uh, shredder attachment on here. But I'm gonna get the stuff going in the pot. So uh, I've already got my pot preheating. I got it on high. I just have it in the manual mode. So I have it on high at the moment and I had it preheating for, well, it's already been preheating for more than 20 minutes. Anyway, let's get the camera down there so you can see what's going on in the pot. All right, I don't put any liquid in here to start with. I put vegetables in first, okay? The reason I do that is the ratio is always a little bit different because the cabbage is a little bit bigger than the other cabbage that you get. The beets are a little bit larger or smaller. The carrots can be a little bit bigger or smaller. So I always load this up with my vegetables first. You can already hear them sizzling in there. So I had this pot nice and hot, which is good. And the vegetables will sweat out Okay, just throw that all on top. All right, go ahead and pour that can of tomato sauce in there. Liquid in the can, swirl that around a bit. Get all that tomato out of there. Settles to the bottom, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna use a quarter cup of bulgur wheat. Most of these ratios, I already got this stuff already figured out, so. I think last time I did a little bit extra bulgur, but I'm just gonna do this a quarter cup. My Worcestershire, I'm gonna use a quarter cup. These are most things that even Russians don't really use in their borscht, at least that I know of. But I do. I like lots of flavor. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Liquid in there, so that's the way that goes. Okay. Okay, this thing gets kind of loud, so let's put it on. Oh, 
like I said, it's kind of loud, but the thing works really slick. I mean, there you go. There's your potatoes right there. So um, the only thing is that this turns really easy, that latch. Um, so it doesn't really latch tight. Otherwise, I love this thing. It's the only downside of it is that. And it washes up really nice, too. So I used it, like I said, I used it for the beets and the carrots already. Cabbage, I hand cut that with a knife. So this potato starch, you can just go ahead and pour that right into your pot. All right, go ahead and pour that potato starch in there. It's just potato liquid anyway. And put your potatoes on top. And as you still see, I have not added any liquid yet to the pan yet. And the meat, you can put that right on top. There's some liquid in there. That's You want to reserve all the liquid from the meat when it was cooking in the pressure cooker. One thing I would do is I'd pull the bay leaf out if you can. So it already cooked in with the meat, so you already have that flavor. At least this way you're not trying to dig them out of your soup later. I had four of them. I always count my bay leaves. All right, give it a couple cranks of pepper. More than a couple, <laughs> actually. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add some of the broth to it. Now I've got um, a couple gallons worth of broth here, but I um, won't use all of it to start with. We'll just kind of gradually add it as throughout the day of cooking. This does, is a pretty long cook time. Um, I, doubt, I usually cook this for at least eight hours. Now I'll give you one other little tip when it comes to the color of borscht. Usually you see borscht, it's pretty red. That's because it's, it's a majority is beets. Now I found throughout the time, years I've been making this borscht that Carrots can definitely add a weird color to your borscht. It's when you add the red and the orange together, you get brown basically, right? So that's why you want to be careful with the amount of carrot you add to the borscht. That's why now I use basically like two smaller carrots when I do it. If that makes any sense. Somebody gave me this, this bone broth. I've never used this product before, but this is this thing here. I don't even know if they have it in the store. They probably do somewhere. I've never seen it yet, but I just fill it up until I see the liquid come up closer to the top. You don't want to go too much because the the cabbage is going to, all that stuff's going to sweat out and you're going to get some liquid coming up. So you want to be careful not to overfill your, your pot. Okay, so I've got two of these in there. These are 64 ounces so far. And at this point, I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to try to move it with a spoon. Let's try to get down to the liquid there. There's the liquid. Now you do have to be careful. You don't want to scorch your soup either. So you do have to keep an eye on it. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up. And there you go. This is going to be a fantastic dinner. Okay guys, well, um, hope you enjoyed the video. It's very short. Um, again, a lot of the stuff is about sort of me going through my recovery. I am getting a lot better at doing things. Uh, it's getting easier to put even socks on, things like that. So um, I do know that when you drop things on the ground, that's the really difficult part. You really have to be careful. You're bending down like this, and you got to get down on one knee and try to figure out where it is. Because you, you, know, you can't, you know, you can't move, bend, and twist around, right? So I uh, got my brace on. Unfortunately, it rained today. So I don't know. I'm going to see if it's still raining. I might still go out for a walk. Uh, got to keep these legs going and like I said my calves like <laughs> my calves are pretty tight um, but anyway I hope you guys are enjoying the videos um, if you like the videos hit the like button um, also leave me a comment or two if you have any questions or comments about anything any uh, information in the videos I appreciate that um, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um, subscriptions are free to join they just let you know when I throw in a video out there. Okay, I'll give you a little heads up. You guys have a fantastic day. Chef Leroy and out, and thanks for watching my cozy kitchen.